say, if you can give me your name, uh, your full name, and your date of birth, and where you were born. Okay. My name is Herman Charles Snell Jr. I was born in Magnolia, Arkansas, July the 5th, 1931. Okay. And were you born in a city or in a uh, country? Or? In, uh, in, in the city. In the city, okay. Yes. Magnolia, Arkansas, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that a big city or? A small city. Okay. Uh, about a few thousand people? About 10,000. About 10,000, okay. Mm -hmm. And so what do they do there at Magnolia? Well, the most, the, the biggest employer at the time was a sawmill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and uh, okay, so what are you, what's your father's name and your mother's name? My father's name is Herman Charles Snell. My mother's name is Jesse May Snell. And what about your, your brothers and sisters? I and only, I, 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 their names. okay. I had a half brother. His name was Wallace Lee Snell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all you had? That's all I had. Okay. Uh, from the same parents? No. Half brother? Half brother. From the mother and the father? No. Or? F f the father had two sons. Had two sons. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, uncles and aunts lived in the same area or no? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, where I lived was a family community. Okay. My aunts, my uncles, all grandmother, grand, grandfather, we all live in, in one community. So there were several generations yes. that lived there before, yeah. before you? Yes. So what was Magnolia before, before uh, they had the sawmill? I mean, what kind of, what did they do? Well, sawmill was always there. Always. Uh, and they are, like to say, uh, rich uh, in the era, oil wells. Oh, Lots of the people, some of the people worked in the oil fields, as they called it. Oil fields? If, yeah. So some of the people that lived, 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 lived some of your relatives? Yes. Some of your relatives worked yeah. in the oil, oil fields? Field. But Did not, any of them own any oil wells? No, no. So they worked in the oil fields. Yes. What, what kind of work is the oil fields? Well, they, they did uh, uh, manual labor. Okay. okay. But what does that mean? What, what well, mean? like... like some, I've never seen an oil field. Oh, okay. Well, you are... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain if one don't know the oil field. Someone has to bring the pipe where they're drilling, okay. okay, and as they drill, go down so far, they have to have a, another pipe to go so far down. See, back, back and then in- And they keep connecting the pipes? Yeah, but back in the days, must remember now, this this is back when I, when I was born. I was born in the 30s, okay. up until the 40s, until the war broke out. Okay. It was very segregated. Okay. What does that mean? That means that blacks and whites were not on the equal basic. Okay. But, but in Magnolia too? In the South period. In the South period. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thir the whole 13 states in the South was segregated. And not only, not only in there, the whole United States of America was segregated. Okay, so in the North too. Yeah. North too. Okay, so how did that affect in Magnolia, your work? Because you got workers. Yes. And, and you got the oil rich owners. Uh, right, see, now, it's like this, black and white. Black and white, okay. Okay, if you are, uh, the black, which we was known as the Negro race okay. at that time, okay. we was, the whites was superior to us in everything, okay? Did, did they say that or did you feel it? No, 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 they, they, oh, they, oh, they oh, oh. we felt it okay. and they, made you do it because they controlled everything. The law, the power, the voting power, and everything. See, you, in order to keep you from voting, they had what they call a poll tax. Okay. You had to pay in order to vote. 
Well, back in those days, most Negroes was too poor to pay the poll tax. Okay, this happened in Magnolia. That, that, that Magnolia oh. and, and, and the South Pier. And the South Pier, okay. Yes. Okay, you had to pay a poll tax so you couldn't vote. Basically. No, no, unless you paid those poll and those who, tax. And who, want, who cares about voting if you got to pay money? Well, the thing about it is you got to have the money in order to pay, to pay. So a lot of, a lot of uh, blacks or Negroes did not vote. No. At that time, the term that was. No. Well, well, you had something like your preachers, your school teachers, so undertakers, right. so, so, so for, for they, they would vote. Yes. And people that worked for those that was rich. Okay. Yeah, they, they was able. But we had a lot of people that didn't live in the cities, that didn't, didn't have those janitorial jobs and things like that. Well, they was sharecroppers they didn't own they didn't own the farm so what does that mean sharecropper? a sharecropper is that someone owns a farm and he breaks it up into particles and he has someone to work the land for him he supplies the seeds and their, the housing and everything. Oh, he supplies the seeds and everything in the house? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you had to do, do the labor. And, and then you gave him a part of it? No, he he taken everything and then gave you what he wanted you to have. Oh, okay. Okay. So he takes everything and, and give you what he wants you to have. You can have this, but he's not paying you, he's giving you a share sure. of the harvest. Uh, well, yeah, but you always going to end up in the end owing him. Okay. Because you got to pay him rent. Yeah, because he's keeping the books. He's keeping the books. Right. So, but you are you paying rent too? Well, no, not not no. Indirectly, indirectly. No, no, no. The parcel of land comes with a house on it. Okay. That you well, like I said, okay. at night you can look up to the roof and count the stars. Okay, but he but he can throw you out. So there's not that much electricity or running water. Or no, 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 no. You got the outhouse. The outhouse. outhouse. The outhouse. So it's not a real fancy place. No, 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 no. And then you got a well. You ain't got no running water. You got a well. All right. Okay. 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 So you got a well. And yeah. And you got the outhouse. That's right. And, 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 and this person owns everything. It owns everything. Everything. And so you're, you're, that's almost like slavery. Well, 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 that's, that's what it came up to after slavery. So, so after slavery, the sharecroppers, sharecroppers came in. So there was a lot of sharecroppers. Well, all, all over, all over. Okay. Because he, here's the thing so about that it. was directly from the slaves. That's when they freed the slaves. That's they, right. They, they made them sharecroppers. Sharecropper, right. Okay. That's another form of slavery. That's all it was. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. And so, how did it feel growing up there? Uh, you, you know, like. You, did you go to school? Yeah, I went to school. Where, where did you, where did you I go went to? in a segregated school. The whites had one school, blacks or uh, Negroes had another school. What was the school like? Was it fancy or? No. No, it wasn't fancy. Did it have a lot of rooms or? Ye, in some cases, yes. But and, I mean, where you went? Where you yes, went? yes. Where I went in the city, yes. We had lots of rooms, but it wasn't nowhere equal to the white school. No equal. In fact, every year we got their old books. They got new everything, and we got their hand-me-downs. See, okay. it was like that. What other differences were there? Oh, between the white school and the and the black school. Oh well, they they had bands, football. Well, we you you had everything that they had, but not a good. For as your equipment and stuff. Not quality. Not quality. No, no, no. You, you didn't have. It wasn't no quality. You got a quality education. I put it like that. Okay. So you did get an education. Oh, you got an education. Were there teachers? Were they black or were they white? No, no, no. Like I say, it was segregated. Okay. So the teachers were black. Black. That's okay. right. Okay. Okay. Your principal was black, so but I, you had a white. So but so you. How did you feel? Did you feel? 
inferior or were you proud Wait, that well, your teachers were black? Well, here, here's the thing about it. You knew good and well you wouldn't go have a white teacher. You you knew that from Jump Street. I mean, did that make you feel inferior? No, no. Or, or proud that you had a black teacher? Well, this... That's what I'm saying. And you, you know what I'm saying? Well, well we, we was taught pride. Now, if black we, pride. Me, a Negro pride. Now, let me give you a joke. You know? Yeah, all right. So if I got all Puerto Rican teachers, I figured this guy don't know anything because he's... He can't even speak English. Well. Now, how did you feel? I'm well, just joking. I well, know. I understand what, where you're coming from. But we uh, we knew from Jump Street that you wasn't going to get no white teacher. Okay. Because your principal was black. But. Did it bother you? No. Okay. No. Because that was a generation. Like, my second grade teacher was my mother teacher. Oh, okay. You, you understand? Now, you, you understand? So like in the family. The well, family. yeah, yeah, but... It's, There's respect. There's respect. Well, close-knitted. Close-knitted. Because it was a community. Like I say, in the community, you knew, they knew everybody. See, if I went to school and acted up, they knew exactly who to go and talk to. It, it wasn't like they had to go to the files and... and the cabinet and look up and say, well, let's see where where, where, where he live, uh, or something like that. They knew where to go, okay? Was no car, the principal would walk over there and, and talk to you and, to and your parents. parents. After you had corporal punishment, which <coughs> meant that you got paddled at school. Okay, you got paddled then. Oh, you got it good. Okay, and how did you feel about that? Well, he, well, I was hoping that they didn't go tell my my, my, my parents. I think the panel. Did. Yeah, to tell it because I was really going to get it when I got home. Okay, so 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 that was just going on at that time, paneling and all that. Yes, yes. It wasn't violent or. Abusive. No, no, that 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 was a part of your education. Yeah, you didn't see it as abuse. Did you? No, no, it wasn't no it's such a punch. thing That's as right. abuse. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and you're going with girls and co it's co-ed, right? Yeah, yeah, so right, and right. Like and, and, but you did have teams, even though they weren't the uniform and all the other stuff. Uh, did you have teams with uniforms? Oh, yeah, y y yeah, your teams, your, your sports team had uniforms. Okay. Yeah. And, and who did they play? Well, they, you, you had a uh, Negro conference with other schools, uh, other city. They had conference. So you didn't play with the whites at all? Oh no 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 that, 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 no 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 I I I I didn't play play with whites until I came to Michigan in 1946. Okay, so from from the time you were in school in the it, it, all all through the South until okay. I came to Michigan in 1946. You never played in a, against a white team? No, or with a white team? Right? No, or with them, or with them, or, or against them? Or against them? Right. Okay. So you came to Michigan. How was? How did you see that? That is that something different? Well, the only thing that I saw different. I mean, we're gonna go back. But I just yes. To the only thing I found out about being in Michigan was that I went to school with the whites. I didn't find out the theaters and everything, your restaurants and everything was just as segregated as it was in the South. So here it was segregated too. Yes. In what way? In all ways. Did they have signs? In the South, they had signs, right? You're right. Did, did they have signs in the North? No, they, they just walk up and tell you. They, they just walk up and tell you? Yes. What, and what did they tell you? Oh, sorry, sir. We can't serve you here. Sorry, sir? Yes. We can't serve you? Oh, it was polite. It was polite? Yeah, it was a polite way. Okay. Sorry, sir. We can't serve you here. Right. Get out of my restaurant? Well, you knew to go because the next person you were going to see was the police. Okay, you knew that. So you didn't want to have a problem with the police. There you go. And the police will take you out. Okay. Out of there. Yeah, after he beat your head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay, so that and was did that you ever witness that? Yes. I witnessed. All my life. See, what what people don't realize, the lots of us they found out the only difference between the north and the south. Like I say, other than the kids going to school together, was basic the same. You went to work. You went. You worked with them, okay, in the factories and so forth. But when 
you left the factory, you went one way, they went another way. All right? Wasn't no mangling or integration, uh, you know, friendship there. No, no, no. It was work. I quit work. And, I, and if it hadn't been for the unions, you would have been paid less money. So were the unions. And, and doing the same work. See, okay. this is what was going on in the South. You and the white man might be working, say, in the oil field, okay, or at the sawmill. He, he doing the same job work you doing, but he would get a higher pay, higher pay than what you would get. Okay, so it affected the pay. It, effect, it affected your whole life, your whole style of life. So he would probably even get an easier job too. No, not well. If he, if let, let's put it like this, he could be working side by side with you, but his pay scale would be higher than you. Now, what he would do, he would take a cut in pay just to be over you. Okay, so it, it, status was important for him to, yeah. be, to control you. Right. And so, so they, 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 they worked that. They worked the, 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 the system. That was the system. Okay. White supremacy. Yeah. And they're still trying to pull that stuff right today. Okay. So there was white supremacy in Magnolia. Uh, yeah, yes. And it was white supremacy in Arkansas and the rest of the 13 states. Okay. And is that what people call it, or you call that that, that now? Did, did people call it that then? Well, not so much. I mean, did, what, well, it, well, how come people didn't react? How come people didn't react? Well, because we didn't have the right to vote. We just, you must, uh, I know you heard of the Vote Acts right yeah. that came up on the Martin Luther King. Yeah. Well, all right then, that, we were considered second class citizens, all right? So it sounds like, it appears that you're a little, a lot, not a little, a lot knowledgeable of what, of what the political climate was at that time. Oh, yeah. And so how did you get that knowledge? Of it? The knowledge? Like, like yeah, I, like, and the understanding of the situation where other people didn't, didn't appear to get angry or anything like that. They kind of accepted things and you kind of, you appear, you know what was going on, so that gets you a little angry. No, the reason I know what was going on, my, the, we was taught by our parents okay, what was peers. going on. Okay. Okay, say, for instance, I wanted to go to a theater. I knew better than to, to, to go, try to go downstairs to the theater where the lobby was, the po uh, popcorn and candy, they had a little dough that, and it had colored, okay, you went upstairs to the balcony. So they already had it because they had it a sign. They, but but it, did your parents tell you you better go? No, no, we knew. It was drilling us all who, our who lives. Who drilled it? Our parents. Okay, your parents did drill it. Yes. And say you can't go over here. No, you can't do this, you can't do that. I see, like I said, I was born in the city. Okay. Cross, and I was born in like a family plot, okay? All, all that lived on this side of the street, within this area, in a certain area, was my family, okay? Across the street were whites. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, we would be playing, and sometimes we would be playing ball, and they would come across the street and want to play with us. The kids would, all right? Now, the kids would come to play, come across and play with us, all right? We played every day together. The minute he got a certain age, we was taught we had to call him Mr. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And he made sure that you call him Mr. Oh, yes! So, uh, so uh, he, he, he became superior. Uh, that's superior. what I'm saying, see? Supremacy. White supremacy. Because his parents are telling him he's superior. That's right. 
and they will stop him from coming across there and playing with you. Okay. So that, that's not that boys and girls. When you're real, real little, little kids, you don't know. Boys and girls, we used to play together. The minute they got a certain age, they, they, especially the girls couldn't come across there. Like 10, you had to call 10, her Miss. Oh, no, not before then. Before then. Before, yeah, before Seven then. Or eight or oh, something. yeah. See, kid, little, little kids, you can put them out there and they will automatically go to where each other is. Oh. See, they have to be taught. And they were taught that they were superior to us. Okay. You, can't, you can't go, and, and like I say, you use the word uh, uh, and that, and then you, you polish it up. The word nigger was a derogatory to us all our life. And that's what they call us all our life, the word nigger. Okay? You a nigger. That means you was, oh, man. Oh, the word nigger means an uneducated, uncouth person. Okay? Now, that's how they figure. I don't. I don't care if my pastor. I was born of the house between me and the church that I, I attended. What was the church? What was the church? It was the United. Uh, it was. Uh, it was so long. Uh, Trinity CME Church. CME. Yeah, Methodist. Methodist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Black Methodist? African Methodist? No, 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 no. It's black, black, but it's not AME, CME. CME. Okay. Christian Methodist okay, Church. Okay, okay. okay. yeah. Okay. I know that there's a. See, our, our office, our head, head office was in Chicago. So it's the regular, the regular Methodist Church? Yes. Not, there was another one. Yeah, it's an African American and then. then the, the yeah, one. yeah, okay. okay. So, and and so, then there's an African American Zion, see? Science. Yeah, the one is AME and one is AME Zion. Okay. Mine is just CME. What's okay. the Zion mean? What does the Zion mean? I never know. Okay. I, I, I never knew. Okay, all right. Okay, see. But your office was in Chicago. From Chicago. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. office, our bishop was in Chicago. Even though Magnolia. Yeah, it, 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 down there. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we used to get a lot of preachers from the north down there. Okay. All right. Okay, so what was that segregated? Yes, the church. It's. A, I I said it, it. It was a house between where I live and was born, and the church. It was a house between. Yes, that's just one house in between. Okay. Where I was born and the church. So there's the church is there and the corner or something. Yeah, on the corner. And your house is there, but there's one house. No, no, there. it's a house between me yeah. and the church. Okay, and, the, and then your yeah, house. Yeah, then the rest of the houses after us. But on the other side of the street was the white. White, right. And they went to a different church. Which church did they go to? I don't know. And then but it wasn't there. Nothing there. No, no. More, the, the South is known in the Bible Belt, longer than there, are, are mostly Baptists. Mostly Baptists. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. There's, there's uh, uh, Baptists from the that black community, African American. Yeah, no, no, we, 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 I don't know. All, all I know is we had Methodist pretty, churches where I was at, and Baptists. Then we had churches of God in Christ. Churches of God, God in Christ. Christ. Yeah, those were the main churches. No Catholic. The white had Catholic. The white had Catholic. Yes. That was Jewish, Chinese, and all. all. Okay. But. I didn't have to worry about about them, you know. Right. Okay, so you go to the church and uh, do the pastors of the church? Do they talk about the segregation? No, no. They don't. They stay away from that. The, the subject is they 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 talk. They was teaching was about Christ. Okay. God and Christ. Okay. okay. Did you have any community organizations? <laughs> no. No. Man, if you. You didn't organize back in those days. Okay, that's my question. See, if you did, the white supremacy group, Ku Klux Klan, KKK, all right, they were the big boss of everything. The Night Riders, all right. Okay, what does that mean, the Night Riders and the KKK? Okay, it, it, it was a secret 
group of whites that did and kept Negroes, Catholic, and Jews under their thumb. You didn't do nothing because why? You didn't raise your voice. You didn't try to to, to uh, contact nothing because the night the, the night riders would be there that night. See. Mm -hmm. So so uh, what kind of stuff did they did the night riders do? Kill you. They kill you. Yes. Okay. Burn your house. They did burn you. You, you witnessed some houses being burned. Oh man, well, well, you you'd be surprised what I witnessed and what I seen and what I know about. Okay. Black black men being hung on hearsay. Being taken out shot for hearsay. Okay, but were these your neighbors? Or this is what you heard in the news? Nah, no, no news, man. We had radios back in them days. Okay. Okay, and, 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 mo and most of us didn't even have radios. Didn't even have radios. So it it was a known way of life. We did so what you we heard had. This by word of mouth. So somebody got killed and then and then everybody oh, yeah, yeah. started talking about it? Yeah, well you would hear about it. It, it. it was just like it would get on the uh wings uh, of the wind and blow through the neighborhood. You know, and then somebody would say, "Oh, I know that person." Yeah, yeah, you know him. So yeah. you would know somebody. Would yeah, know yeah, you would know it. And, and what were some of the reasons that they killed those people? That they said, "Women." Women. Well, here's the thing about it. You you, you had a lot of the men that worked around the house. Okay, if that woman desired you and you knew what was going to happen to you, all right? You tried to stay away from her, but you were damned if you did her bidding or her sexual desires for you. You were damned if you did, and you were damned if you didn't. She could go and tell her husband, he looked at me a certain way. If he told, if he told. She told her husband. Even the, 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 the person said, I don't want sex with you. Well, well, he, 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 you didn't tell her that. You didn't do that. What you tried to do was stay away from her. Okay. You didn't tell her nothing. Right. Like I say, you were damned if you do and you were damned if you don't. Best thing you would do was be trying to shun her. You didn't want to too much conversation with her. Mm. Okay. So you knew that some people got hung because of Hung, shot, or whatever, or whatever you, you can name. Drug buying cars. So what about the sheriff? Did the sheriff intervene? He was most likely the head of the Ku Klux Klan. The sheriff? The sheriff. This is in Magnolia. That's all over the is south. It? No, no, but I mean it. it, it yes, in Magnolia. It's in Magnolia. Yes, yes, okay. sir. Okay. Okay, so 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 the sheriff and all these people were all connected to the clan. Uh, and one could do, one was in cahoots. Yeah, the night riders in the clan were they different? No, same same people. They just had say, different names. Just different names. Yeah, just different groups. Yeah, no, no, the same people just had a different name. Okay. Okay. Some call them night riders. Some call them the Ku Klux Klan. Okay. Which, which was the same. It was the same. Thing. Yes. Now, uh, well, we usually, when we hear the Ku Klux Klan, they're like burning down houses. Did uh, they do that? Or? Uh, man, they did everything. You, they burned the cross, and, and, and they, they have burned down houses, they have burned down churches, you name it. They have did it. So fear, they use fear tactics. The, the fear tactics, that's what, what it was. And they try to make examples of, of people. Man, they have hung innocent black, young, 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 10, 11, 12 year old boys. But I mean, you heard of that specifically. Yes. Somebody that, that yes. you knew. Yes. That you knew about personally. My, my, my grandfather, my grandmother, all, all, all have talked, talked, talked. To, see, I, I'm my only child, okay? 
and they have talked to me, uh, I guess, and I had friends all, all around us and everything, where we play and everything, and it's just certain things that you could not do and live. I put it like that, all right? You couldn't do certain things and live. See, like you say, you're Puerto Rican, right? Right. You could, you got a country, you got a flag. This is just where we stay. It wasn't for us. Why? We were brought here as slaves. We didn't have nothing, okay? We had, and like I said, when slavery ended, sharecropping had come in, another form of slavery, okay? Okay, so did you go to high school in Magnolia? Or? No. Yes, I did. I finished school in Magnolia. Oh, you finished school? Yeah. Well, I, I so can't... So you went as far as high school? Yes. Okay. The, and take any college? At, at uh, no, I went in service. You went in service? Yeah, I went in service. Okay, so you finished school in Magnolia. You yeah. finished high school. How, how was high school like? And what was the name of that high school? Columbia High School. Okay. How was that like? It was so was it a, se a segregated? Or? Oh, yes. It, it just still, it's still an all-black school. Oh, they, they, an all, Columbia was an all-black school? Yeah. And what was the white school? Magnolia High School. So the West Coast called Magnolia, but Columbia was was. Uh, what, what, what was was that a neighborhood called Columbia or something? Or county. Oh, the county was called Columbia. Columbia County. So so the, so the the black school was named after the county. Right. And then the uh, the regular white school was named. The regular, after the regular Magnolia Public School was Magnolia High School, but that was the white school only. Right, and there was only two schools. There you go. Okay. Now, was the county, was that uh, included more black areas? Or is that what, what yeah, oh, called? well, if you get down, when, when you talk about the county, that's where most of the blacks live, in the county. In the county? Yes. Okay. And the area, because they worked in the... Well, oh, all of them that didn't work in the field, most of them was, like I say, you got your sharecroppers. Sure, so most yeah, of them were they farmers. Were farm, farmers, farmers, yeah. Uh, but sharecroppers. Yes. Okay, so they were rural in there. What, all kind, the, what, kind, uh, what kind of products did they grow? Do you remember? Cotton. Cotton. Cotton was king back in those days. Okay, cotton was king, so that's the, the main crop. Yes. Okay, no other uh, beans or... If you had a garden. If you had a garden. Yes. But you, you, the, other, the fields were all cotton. Yes. And you were, and you share crop for the farm. The, that's all cotton. And they took all the, the thing and then they divided uh, it up. Oh, well, here's the thing about it. Everything that you had, the most of these guys that had these big, big, big parcels of land that broke it up and they had sharecroppers had his own stove. Oh, they had their own store. Right. You went, everything that you needed or something like you went to this store and bought it. Okay. But you bought it on credit. Right. Okay, so everybody had a tab. There, the there you go, there you okay. go. Okay. Now you understand. Now, at the end, end of the year, his wife, okay, she would be there and she would be reading up and tell you, well, you've got such and such a thing and your bill come to such and such a thing. Your crop, your cotton and everything came to such and such a thing. Now if you'd have got one more bale, one more bale of cotton, you would have broke even. Mm. Now you can't, you better not dispute what she said. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so you can't dispute because she's got the numbers. It didn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. She'd have been sending off, the, off from memory. So you owe, even though. <laughs> <laughs> you owe that money. You you want to oh, you did, right, right. Now you didn't telling you that you owe them. Yeah, you didn't break even. <laughs> you didn't break even. No, no. If, so but you if you'd have got one more bale of cotton, you'd have broke even. Yes. Yeah, so oh, uh, see? see. So they had a reason. You didn't break even. We're not gonna <laughs> give you. You know. They weren't gonna give you no money anyway. Right, right. They're gonna give you 
they're gonna give you the hardest. Yeah. See, you you could grow your own you had garden or stuff stuff like that. You could grow you could grow watermelon, corn, vegetables and stuff like that. You could take them in town, sell 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 them yourself. Because that's your garden. Yeah. From your garden. You have, well, yeah, yeah, but the, he didn't give you no money or nothing to buy the seeds or something like that. That you got that on your own. Yeah, you got your own seeds. All right. right. So that's so, how you, he, but he allowed that to have a little Oh, garden. oh, oh yeah, you can go garden. You have a big garden. You can have a great oh, big garden. Oh, uh, okay. But he's just not gonna give you seeds or no, 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 no. He give you just the, the seeds to plant the cotton. Okay. Okay, so that's so the cotton because the cotton is where the money would Yeah, that was cotton was cane. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. So cotton was cane back in those days. What days. about uh, cattle and, and chicken? We, oh yeah, yeah, but you you, you gotta go think about that now. Uh uh that was the bigger ranch that we call those ranchers, guys that grew, uh, had that okay. hog, they, they grew hogs. Hog, nothing but hogs, he grew nothing but hogs, but for himself he had chicken, okay, then there was a man that grew nothing but chicken, turkeys, or, or something like that, okay, oh, okay. they had people working on the farm, each one of them, but the thing, the thing that I'm saying yeah, is, your pay was so little, you know, Okay. And, and if if you had a white boy okay. help me doing the same work that you did, he got more money than you did. See, this, 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 that's yeah. where the problem my came in. Running, they they kept you down, but exhorted their people. And then you stayed there for how long? After you went through the service from there from Magnolia. So yeah, no, I, well, here, here's what happened. Uh, I came to Michigan in 46, okay. and after I got, I grew up, I played football, baseball, and basketball. What happened was, yeah, yeah, here, here, here. here. See, like I said, I came in 46. Okay, but you play football professional? No, 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 no. Did, did high school. In high school? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I got hurt. My shoulder, I still got the lump down. And, uh, I didn't play a game. And, uh, when the doctor okayed me to come back to play, he put me on the second string, not the first string. I say otherwise, I was on A team, and then when I got hurt and come back, he put me on B team. Now, white boy got hurt and missed five games. The black boy filled in for him. We won every game when the black boy was the halfback, all right? When the white boy came back, he put the black boy back on B team with me. And the white boy, he put on A team, all right? Now we only about two, two games before the end of the season. Come back. And on the end of the season, our arrival was Muskegon. I lived in Muskegon Heights. Our rival game was playing. We lost the game seven to six. Okay. So that I was a sophomore, and then I was supposed to go go up next year to. Varsity. I was on junior varsity this year, but the next year I was supposed to go up to varsity. And of course, told me, well, if you hadn't got hurt, I was going to pull you up to varsity. What did it? What did that mean? I came back and finished the season. Why come I couldn't? Have, you mean if I was good enough to come up to varsity and I got hurt? Now I go back. Now I'm coming back to play. What's the difference? Did I change? Did I did I become white overnight? So he, he said, "Well, 
and so happened that before school was out, my grandmother got sick in like New York and so. And we, uh, my mother say, well, she haven't seen you in so long and we don't know, no, she's very sick. So I'm going down and you are going down with me. Now, she didn't say, did you want to go? She said, I'm going down and you are going down with me. What is that? That's a directed order. She's ordering me to go down and wait. She's not asking me. She's ordered. So I went down. I went down. And while I was there, I liked it. Okay. And even though segregation is still, I, I liked it. Because, hey. What did you like about it? Well, I didn't have to, to, to be... <laughs> Down there, the white people was up front with what they was, what they were. If if I wasn't loud across the street, they would tell me, "I don't want you over here." They didn't say, "Come on over here." And then when I get over there, the way they treated me made me want to go back across the street. You you understand? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, but here was different. What? But here was different. The, the, uh, hey. Like I say, they would want you over here, to, but the, your treatment after you got over there was so bad. Otherwise, they'd be patting you on your back with the right hand and got in the left hand holding a dagger to stick you in your back. I had just got I had just got that from playing football. I went there, and, and, and like I said, I, I went there and I stayed that particular uh, uh, summer and I asked my father can I stay he said no I said all right I talked over with my grandmother and my grandfather I talked all over with it, all, all, all my people when it was time to go back I didn't come back I stayed there I stayed there my dad said, well, you're going to come, you're going to have to come back and go to school. I was 16. I didn't have to go to school. I told him, if I do, if I come back, I'm not going to school. So I stayed there. I went to school there that year. Okay. I uh, stayed there. In my junior year, I stayed there. All right. Then, uh, I became a better basketball player while I was down there. I, I was good enough to make the team, but while I was down there, I became a better basketball player. And I stayed there my junior year. Now, uh, but the team, we, we went up and we made it to the semifinal in the state tournament, all black, all black. We went to, uh, they had it at Arkansas A&M College, which is known as Arkansas State now, but Arkansas A&M and N. And we made it up to the semifinal, so we got defeated. The next year, my junior year, that was my junior year. That summer, while I, when school was out, my dad sent a directed order down there by my mother that I was coming back to Michigan. If she came back without me, he would be coming down. So I came back. Now I'm a senior. I told him, they're not, not going to let me play sports. So I came back 
and they ruled me ineligible to play football. I couldn't play football. I stayed up there to September. I stayed up there to December, to the Christmas break. I said, I, I know what to do. I stayed to the Christmas break. And in January, the second game that was to be played, I could play. But I couldn't play until the second game in January. That's when we went back to school from uh, Christmas break. So that was a uh, that was a man that was coming. One of my dad's friends was coming back to Magnolia. He was driving out for Christmas, and I asked him, uh, "Hey, could I ride down with you?" He said, "Come on." And he went to him and said, "So yeah, I would enjoy having him going down with me. You know, I'd have somebody to talk to and everything, and then we'll come back." But when I got down there, I stayed. All right. The same guys, we played basketball. We made it through all the tournaments and everything. We went to, uh, at the end, uh, we, we made it up to uh, the tournament, the state final. We went to the state final. All right, and we, 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 we uh, made it and we went to, uh, well, in fact, we was the state runner-ups. We only had nine players, and we played the team North Little Rock. had had twenty players. <laughs> they could substitute in fives, and we couldn't substitute like that. They just they just wore us out. Okay, so we lost. Come 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 that come graduation and, and making it and it'll come graduation time. We, I graduated, and me and some of the guys were sitting around and we didn't, didn't have nothing to do. Wasn't no jobs. I wasn't going to the cotton field, and I wasn't going to the oil field. So I wasn't going to the sawmill. So we said, we all said we went into service. So you just signed up for the service? Yeah, I went into service, okay. And uh, what part of the service? Army. Army, okay. Okay, now. Now I went to, I was sent to Fort so Riley. One day, one day you just went and signed up? Yeah, yeah, this was a group of us. We sitting down, we couldn't find no jobs. Okay. So we just said, hey, well, we ain't doing nothing. Let's, let, let's, let's go get paid for not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So we went, went, went and signed up and went to service. Mm -hmm. Some guys had, before us had signed up and they went to the Air Force. I didn't want to go to the Air Force. So I told the guys, all you guys want to go to the Air Force, go to the Air Force. I'm going to serve Air Army. So when you enlisted for the Air Force, you had to sign up for four years. The Army gives you a choice. You can sign up for three, one, two, or four. So I signed up for three years. And I was sent to Fort Riley, Kansas. Now, when I got to Fort Riley, I found out that where they sent me to Camp Funston, that's where the training were. Well, we got there and we got assigned to our company and everything. I found out that the group that I was with was the first integrated training group to go through Fort Riley, Kansas. Mm -hmm. I got a friend that right what here. What year was this? 1950. 1950, okay. And I got a friend right here now, Mr. Houston, C.L. Houston. Oh, yeah. I know, I know Houston. Well, that's where I met him. He went through basic training with me. And it was the first integrated? First integrated troops in basic training in Fort Riley, Kansas. There's lots of troops that have been through there, but they was trained in a black company. Okay. So the, so the Army had black companies and... and oh, the, the, the Army was, was segregated. Okay. 
The army was saying we Yeah, we, we had troops in Korea. Was over there fighting, dying. But they, it was in a black company. That was under General MacArthur. But they had, I think they had a group called the Borinkineers, a Puerto Rican group. Yes. Did you ever meet any of those people? No, no, but that was, see, after I was there for a while, we was, uh, and, uh, in 1950, see, I got there in 1950. I, got, I didn't get to Korea until 1952. I left California in January, the 1st of 52, going to Korea. And I think it was, uh, I don't know, yeah, it was in January, but I mid-January somewhere. But we hit a storm and I didn't get to Korea until I think it was either the 2nd second, second of, uh, of uh, February or not. But anyway, when, when I got there, uh, MacArthur had been fired. General MacArthur, they fired General MacArthur because General MacArthur told, made this statement that if the, the they had pushed the North, North Koreans back across to the Manchurian border, which is, is the divide Korea from Russia, and they would come back and, and, and attack and run back across the border, and Americans would not cross the border because that would have been in the direct violation of the treaty with Russia. But Russia was letting them do it. So MacArthur said, if they attack my troops one more time and run back across that border, I'm going behind there and I will annihilate them. And uh, President uh, Truman fired him, sent a plane and picked him up. But now when General Ridgway got there, he got there and he start, He broke up all of that. Well, after General Bridgeway landed, that's when I got there, okay? And we, uh, I was a, a quartermaster, supplies. Man, they had supplies everywhere. They couldn't, so I need a shovel. Uh, well, didn't even know what a shovel was. Uh, we we need combat boots. We need this. We need this. For, and we got to ship this up. And the ships are steady coming in, putting cargo out. And they got so many us in the, in, in, in the big warehouses that they had. They had the, what do you call it? Open, open storage. In between the warehouses, they was storing stuff out there and covering them up with canvas. That's how bad it was. We went in over there. And in quartermaster, we started getting that supplies out. We started getting them up to where it was needed, up to the guys in, in the front lines and everywhere, and all over to the supporting peoples and everything. And it, it made a, oh man, it, it, we did a good job. That's all I can say, we did a good job, okay? And, but I hated the company. We had some, like I say, I went over there, we were an entire black company. When we left the United States of America, we were black. When I got sent to Camp Pickett, Virginia, I was sent to an all black company, a reserve company, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Our officers were black, our non commissioned, all the high non commissioned officers were black, all the sergeants and everything was black. I caught particular hell in that company. Where, where, where did you catch hell? Because they found out that I was from it. I, I, I was out of Michigan. They didn't like me. And I come into, I come, when I came into the company, I had two stripes. When I left the company, I had two stripes. All the people that I worked up on, I was, had duty up on, on the piers and things, Put in, and uh, uh, I say it loud, say it. They recommended me for a promotion. My company commander rejected it. Hmm. That's it. That's, that's because, the story. Because you were from Michigan. I was and went to school and, and background in Michigan. Okay. So you were in the service, uh, did 
Did you act, see an act of duty there? Or? Duty? Yeah, I mean, is that what they call it? That's what they call it, no? Yeah. Act of duty? Yeah. My, my serial number is, is RA, regular army. Okay. So that means that you were always involved in it. I was I'm a volunteer before for the Korean conflict, before the con Korean conflict. Okay. I was in basic training when the Korean conflict broke out. Okay, I got you. Okay. Then they start drafting. Okay. 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 So you volunteered? Yes. And, and, and uh, but I mean, did you, they started drafting, but I mean, did you, you were in the bitter fight, in the fight? No. Well, here, here. When they, when the conflict broke out, they open, start opening up camps for, and, and for basic training and everything. All right. They didn't have enough peop, the people to, you had to have supplies. You, you had to have people in supplies. You had to have cook. You had to have truck drivers. You had to have all of that. Well, they was taking guys like that. When I come in, they was taking us and sitting on us and training us for service. Because this, this is what, what was needed. See, you can have all the troops you want to train them for combat, all that, but you got to have people to serve. You got to have somebody there to keep those guys in clothing, okay? Food, transportation, everything, ammunition, all that. So they start sending us some to transportation, some to quartermaster, some to ordnance, all over. So that they, they could open up these camps. And, and, uh, so how long were you in the service? Three years. Okay. And you said you didn't get a, a they didn't give you a higher medal? You, they didn't give me a promotion. A promotion? No. Yeah. Okay. Because they cook, because hey, it was a buddy buddy system. See, uh, everybody said the white man, they got buddy buddy system. Okay, you know, you know, uh, we they, we all work together, and, and he got his buddies, and uh, they, they give them the promotion and everything. Well, black people are the, are the same, and they're worse. They're worse. See, all, all those guys that non commissioned officers all knew each other. They was in what they call the Army Reserve. They met every month. Buddy buddy system. Okay. So how so you were there three years and then you came out? Where did where did you move to? Back here to Michigan or Oh I came back straight straight to Michigan. Okay. I, and then where where did, where did you start working? I started working in the packing house. That's the only place I could find a job. In the packing house. Where is that? Right here in Grand Rapids. Called Farmer Pete. Pete Packing Company. That's where I work. And what did they what did they pack? Well, we packing a packing company is is uh that's the name. We, did we slaughter? So it's just like the stockyards in Chicago, a packing. Company. Yeah, well, yeah, so, sort of, but but we we is we had departments. We had a slaughter department. We had a a, a, a what do we call a, a curing department. That's where your ham and your bacon, your picnics, and all that came from. Then we had a sausage, place where they made all the sausages and all that, all, all that kind of stuff. All that. Then lard and all, all, everything. They made everything. This is for the Pete? Pete, P-E-E-T, Pete Packing Company. Okay. Okay. Yes. And this is where, uh, near downtown? Or? No, 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 it's on Bristol. Bristol. Yeah, off of Leonard. Off of Leonard, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's still there. The the building is still there, but, but they don't do they don't do nothing about it. No. Well, at that time, was it a big company or? Pete Pete was big. Was, was one of the all the well on this side of Detroit. It was the biggest. Okay. Mm hmm. And you did that for how many years? Or months? Oh, I did it. What is it? 23, seven, 23 years and seven months. 23 years? Oh, okay. Seven months. And so did you get promotions there? 
Well, here's the thing about it. We get pay raises. Well, yeah, we get promotion, yeah. Because, like, uh, you learn more. You had to learn. You, you, it was up to you what you did, okay? If, if you was good at what you did and had some time, if you go over and, and try to try try the next next job, you know. And uh, that that that's it. That that that's how uh, it, it worked in a packing house. Okay. Okay. So you you were So you just went from one job to another, you advanced like that. That's and right. And then you got pay raises. Each, each job is classified and it's called, yeah, it's classified and it pays a certain rate. Now you see, you got labor, semi-skill, and skill. Okay. All right. So you were skilled by the, by the time. So, you no, I'm, I was semi. Mexico. Yeah, so I could do everything. Okay, but now you're coming back from the service. Are you married? Did you get married? Well, I got married about a year, year or so after I was out of service. And did you have any children? Yes. Both, what are they Uh I got Charles, my oldest was. Barbara is next. Mary Jane is next. Uh, Jerome is next. And then my baby, Lashanda. All from the same way? Same way. What's her name? Ernestine. Ernestine, are you still with her? No, she passed in '02. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so uh, what 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 are some of the work that your children do in general? My children. I got one retired. He's retired. He from, was from what? Well, he was in service, and then he went and started working for the government. Okay. Okay, he's retired from there. Uh, got a, the next to him was a girl. She worked for the county at one time, and uh, at the juvenile detention center. She's uh, she holds a master's degree in college. The other girl was just a factory worker. My next to her is a boy, Jerome. He just retired from uh, being a correctional officer. Okay. He got 20 years, then he retired, but he's still in his early 50s. Now. You in the county jail? Or? No, no, no. Uh, state. The state prison. Yeah. System? Okay. Okay. And uh, now he's working for the. Uh, Board of Education in maintenance. And that, that leads to his, my daughter, my daughter Lashanda is a registered nurse. Okay. And she works uh, in, in uh, Royal Oaks, Michigan. Okay, so they kind of get pretty good jobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, none of them ever got into any problems or anything like that? Oh, well, Mary, Mary Jane did. Uh, what, what problems? She not not no jail time, but she yeah. she uh, strayed strayed uh, into the neighborhood. Well, what she, well, she yes. met what what she did. She married she married somebody that that it wasn't too good. Right, right. Okay, that was. I mean, when I say yeah, and and he they had problems. That was he, well, she they had problems, and she uh, couldn't take it and, and end up alcoholic. She became an alcoholic. Okay. Did she get treatment at all? Or? Yes, every time we would go get and put in uh, treatment, he'd go get and sign her up. Okay, so she been struggling with alcohol for a while. Uh, yeah, man. Then, that's then, 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 then finally I got, got sick, sick of, of both of them, and I went and taken them to court and, and got the kids and I raised the kids. Oh, so you the, 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 the oldest one, the oldest girl is about she is in her mid thirties, and the boy is in his late twenties. And you raised them with your with your wife. Yes. Yes. Okay. And so you're working at the uh, packing place, mm -hmm. and are you into sports or anything at nighttime or recreation or? 
Oh, when I was working? Yeah, I used to I used to play recreation and basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 The this, this uh city uh had uh, leagues and uh from different uh, well I played for uh, the jewelry company, Fox Jewelry. Okay. 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 Was my uh, my my uh, sponsor? Yeah, yeah, they yeah they sponsored that thing. Yes. Okay. Uh, did you get involved in any community groups or anything like that later? Or churches, well, church groups? Or yes, I I I used to sing in in a male chorus at a church, and not only that, I were you pretty good. I mean, <clears throat> not background singer. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, uh, far as what church was that? It's called Pilgrim Rest uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Okay. But uh, my biggest was with a school called the Potter House. I was a volunteer at the Potter House. Okay. And uh, what, what what do they do there? What kind of work service? Potter House is a school. Was a school? Yes. It started oh. out started out going uh, K one to. I think it was the sixth grade when I went there. Then they moved up to the seventh grade. Then they moved up to the eighth grade. And then they bought a building from Calvin Christian and became a high school. So I stayed over it. My, my, I, I, well, I did just, a, I was janitor. I, 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 I had many hats over there. Okay. Uh, Copy room man, uh, counselor, uh, you name it. I, 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 so many things I did over there. Mm. School counselor? Uh, I counselor, no, it's not, not, not school counselor. The kids would get in, get in. You know, kids gonna be kids. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of uh, taking them to, to, to the principal and really get, get, get them, because uh, uh, the school was strict. It's a strict school. In fact, it's a church school. The Christian Reform under the Christian Reform, mm -hmm. and we, uh, I would get them and talk to them, and I, I would pray for them, and uh, I, like I said, I hate, I don't brag on myself, and I hate to talk about myself, but I was among the children, I was respected, very respected, and the teachers. So they looked up at you like a role model? Or? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, uh, what do you do now? Now, right now? I, right now, I, don't, I can't do too much of nothing in here. But what, what happened with the injury? You have an injury, you're sitting in a... In a I, had to have, to I had to have what they call lumbar back surgery. Lumbar back surgery? Yeah. This was recently? Yeah, well, last April. That's it? Yeah. And why, what happened? Were you in a car accident? Or? No, no. I fall. You Falls. Falls? Yeah. Okay. From the service or? From no, no, no. I, 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 F, I, I came down, I had two bouts with my kidneys, okay? Stones. Okay. And every time I would go and they would uh, crush them and get them out, crush them and get them out. But it taken me a long time to recover. And, it, and, 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 and while I'm recovering, some things that happen, so like, like I, I have to wear compressed stockings now and stuff like that. <laughs> and my, my blood pressure. And then they found out that, that uh, I had congested heart failure. Mm -hmm. Uh, can compare with the kidney problem. And it's been just say a uh, thing, and then, then uh, about three years ago, out of nowhere, I just started, uh, if I get up too fast, my blood pressure would drop. Mm. I fall. So far, so far, so many, so many falls, and is everyone in your family or no, no, that didn't, no, no, that's not, that's not just, just done it. Okay, all right. So no. then this, uh, 
No, no. It just happened two years ago. It started, started getting that. A little, it, 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 it was longer than that, but I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. And the doctors couldn't, couldn't, if, if they can't take an x-ray fine and look and see what it is, you know, hey, you, you, you don't have nothing. Right. You know. So they x-rayed my head and everything. I don't been, I've been to Ann Arbor, I've been in the VA in Ann Arbor and everywhere. But it's just, just, just one of these things. So, so you got operated. Is that help going to help you or the operation? Yeah, it, it, it taking care of the pain. It did take care of the pain. See, because it's five bones in the lumbar section, and the vertebrae, and then the cushion in between are, are, are there. Well, the disc, the cushion yeah, the disc. yeah, in between the dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, some of that's come I out think I get some, some and, and, that and was pressing on the nerves. Right. Okay. Now that threw the, the alignment off. Now you got openness coming out out of the cynic nerve where the other nerves come out. What that did, by them getting out of alignment, closed up some of the, the, the passage where the nerves was coming out and it clamped down on them. So I had pain coming from my knee, my lower leg, my, uh, my thigh, and, and they were treating symptoms. And then finally they, they got enough it hurt me enough. I, I told him, wait, wait, you got to do something. And finally, uh, one of the therapists, when I went to Mary Freebed and I was in a pool, and uh, they sent me over there in that warm water. And I'm floating, I'm just floating in the pool, and all of a sudden, uh, I, I went down and my foot hit the bottom and it felt just like somebody, boom, shot me in my, shot me in my legs, you know, with bird shot. Mm -hmm. And the therapist said, oh, what's wrong? I said, oh, I got, I got pain, I got pain. Where? I said, all over. She said, that pain is not coming from your, 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 your knees. She said, that, that pain coming from your back. Mm -hmm. So she, while she talking to me, she, Studied right, t putting everything down in the computer, and then sending it over to my primary doctor. He looked at it, and in the meantime, he called upstairs to the neurosurgeon upstairs. I went, I went up there to see him. Told him, and he sent me, called up the hospital, and we don't have the MRI. That's when he found out that that whole uh, lumbar. lumbar section was out of whack. Okay, so they operated, and then, so what's uh, you're in the process of healing right now? Right now, yes. And uh, does it look pretty good? Yes. Okay. So, 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 what are your plans? What are your future plans? I don't know. I don't know. I, you know what I do? I take one day at a time. Okay. Until I get out of out of this thing. Then 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 what I want, really want to do is go to California. Go to California? Yes. That's what I want. You have family there? Yeah, I got a grandson. Okay. He was just here two weeks ago. Because you retired, so you want to... Oh, I've been retired. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I didn't retire because of age. I got re I retired because I got injured on my job. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, any, any final thoughts? My, my, like I say, my only the kind of all, all, all I do, and what what my thoughts is, what I see every morning, that when I get up, I got a plaque right there when I sit down, drink my coffee, have breakfast. It says, "Good morning. This is God. Hmm. I will handle all of your problems today." Just relax and have a great day. 
That's, that's my theory. That's what I live by, and that's what I try to do. Let God handle it. Because every time I try to handle something, I mess it up. Mm -hmm. Now, so this is a church concept? or Yes. Or, because you said one day at a time, did you ever experience any? You know, one day at a time, usually AA says that. No, 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 no. This is just a church concept. It's it's a song. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all well, I ask song. for that's you. That's where they get it from. Yes. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Yes. That's where they get it from. Yeah. Just okay. so. Yes. Well, it, it makes sense. Well, see, here's the thing about it, uh, and we take too much for granted. We use one thing too much. I. I. But they don't know if you add an F to that, it says what? If. That's another word we use a lot. If. If it had not been for such and such a thing, this, 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 this would have, uh, would have not happened. I'll say. I. I did it myself. No, you ain't did nothing yourself. You didn't wake yourself up this morning. Well, my uh, my long clock. Them, them personal pronouns we use too much. We give too much to ourselves. And 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 I, I I'll tell you this. And, and I don't talk to too many people about these things. Read the book of Job, please. Job. Read Job, and see what happened to Job. And then after God brought him through. He started talking, bragging, and, and, and talking about what he did, what he did. And God had to tell him, ask him some questions. Where were you, Job, when I hung the stars in the socket? You know, where were you? You see, we just, we just, we just, I don't know. But anyway, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to talk to you and I give you a, a, a little, li, li, little, little history, but uh, I'm just a soldier. Okay. Old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Fade away? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. what it is. Right. I appreciate the interview. Yeah, okay. I appreciate it.